should never marry Nancy. <laughs> Two Roth conversions. <laughs> ah, I like single Susie because that's uh, it's the alliteration. Was that right? Um, but I've used that so many times. I had Scott single, single Susie. Something, what, what, uh, divorced Debbie? I don't think this lady's divorced. Um, unmarried Ingrid? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Is there another one? Um, widowed Wanda, but she's not widowed, so I couldn't think of it. So we we're gonna say, what well, I say, non married Nancy. <laughs> That's not her name, but her name's kind of unique, so I didn't want to use that name because you might know who she is. You wouldn't, but, uh, you know, at the end of the day. All right. And she's been on my YouTube channel for many movements, many, many moves. Big fan, long time, first time. All right. She's got about 300000 in rollover IRA and about 36000 in a Roth. She's single and only has fur babies for kids. And so she better buy my You Can Re no, uh, Pablo Retired Hot Why Haven't You t-shirt. Um, let's see. Uh, she'll be 62 in August. Uh, she had to retire as an RN because she wouldn't get the jab. Right on. That's good. Good, good stuff. So now she's just living on her IRA and her Roth. She got no debt and home is paid off. If memory serves, she moved from uh, Washington State to North Carolina. I don't think she writes that in this email. I just, we've corresponded on occasion. Uh, she will take care of her 83 year old mom who lives with her. She only gets about 650 bucks on Social Security and has about $70,000 in cash. So if something happened to me, she wouldn't be able to afford to stay in this home very long. Uh, her term life, not the mom, but uh, Nancy's term life ends at 64, 65. So, yeah, her mom's going to be a world of hurt if something happens to uh, to Nancy. But, I mean, at the end of the day, it's not, I, I mean, I do it the best you can, but you can't do anything more. All right, so she's wanting to conserve as much of her retirement savings as possible. She's thinking about taking Social Security, about 2100 bucks a month at uh, 62, whereas it would be 3000 a month at full retirement age. That's, that seems a little bit odd. That seems like a pretty significant, I don't know, uh, twenty one hundred bucks a month at sixty two, or three thousand a month at sixty seven. That seems, I don't know. I bet it's more than twenty one hundred bucks a month, but whatever. She's got Obamacare for health insurance, and her premiums are very, very low, uh, about four hundred bucks a month, based on income of thirty five thousand, which is from her what she's taken out from her IRA. Uh, the more I take out from the IRA, the more premiums she'll have to pay, one hundred percent. At 65, her pension kicks in. It'd be about 3000 bucks a month. Uh, of course, by then, she won't need to worry about Obamacare because she'll be on Medicare. Uh, should she do Roth conversions over the next three years, um, even though my health premium, health care premium will go up significantly? Um, no, I wouldn't. And then she goes, should she take Social Security at 62? Yeah, I 100% I would. So basically what's going to happen here, if you take Social Security at 62, remember, they factor in your... Uh, your Obamacare subsidy is based on your modified adjusted gross income. I've done thousands of videos. I need to do another video on this. I'm not gonna, I'm not prepared to do it right now on how Social Security benefits are taxed and what your MA, uh, your MAGI, modified adjusted gross income is. But just remember, so they take your modified adjusted gross income to determine your, your Obamacare subsidies, all right? And so Social Security, even if it's only uh, 2100 bucks a month, only half that goes into you figure out your provisional income. And I just, there's all this, it's more, much, much, much more beneficial uh, than taking 35000 or more from your IRA. I hope that makes sense. So for the next three years, I'd take Social Security at 62, 100%. $2,100 a month. Social Security, that's 24000 a little bit about 26000 a year, something like that. Um, and that would reduce your IRA amounts that you need to from 35000 to, I mean, hell, freaking 10000 so your modified adjusted gross income is, is going to be a hell of a lot lower than it is now, which means you're going to qualify for more Obamacare subsidies. It, absolutely no Roth. No Roth conversions whatsoever. That's why I emailed her, too. I said, no, do not do Roth early. No, I do not do Roth conversions. When she's on the pension, it doesn't make sense to do Roth anyway, because by then she'll have Social Security kicking in at about 2100 bucks a month, and then her pension is about 3000 bucks a month. That's 60000 bucks a year right there alone. She's only got 300000 in her IRA. It's just spend that sucker now, man, as you need. But, you know, she's in that area, 62 to 65, the Obamacare stuff, and she's got to dance pretty, you know, pretty, uh, just got to dance to dance. There's no other way around that. But definitely don't do wrong conversions. All right. Anyway, hope this helps, Debbie. Is that, did I say Debbie? No, that's divorced Debbie. Unmarried Nancy. No, that's not the right word. Never married Nancy. That's right. It's never married Nancy. There you go. 
Love your thoughts. Thanks, guys.